Today I'm off to Tottenham to do two fuse board changes and a load of remedials for EICR that I did uh, six weeks ago. One's a small shop and then the flat above. So I'm going to stay in the flat above, kip, kip up there and then get the work done overnight if need be and in the shop over the weekend so that they can be open during the week. I'm meeting them 3 p.m. this, this afternoon, get the key and, and we'll get set up there. Before I do the final testing, final, final, final testing, I uh, need to put a water bond on. The water bond is there by testing, but it's not there by visual. So, and the gas bond, there isn't a gas bond, but then I've had a look at the gas pipe and it is plastic from here, from the ground outwards. It's plastic, so it doesn't actually need a main equipotential bond. But the water is bonded downstairs, but not bonded upstairs. And really, I think it should be bonded in both locations. So tonight I'm going to put some bonding in, in the loft. I've worked out a cable route. I've also got quite a lot of clearing up to do up here um, before I can set up downstairs. Hatch is up there and um, I've just got to put my ladder up there and turn the light on up there and see where I can uh, knee crawl around without my knees going through the ceiling. Right. 
over there somewhere will be the pipe coming through and over here somewhere will be the cables down into the consumer unit. I've brought the main equipotential bond in 10 millimeter most of the way through, all the way through in fact, and it comes round and it's ready to join to the BS951 clamp. Just to show you how dirty, that's my hands now after doing that job and my knees <laughs> so uh, just as well I'm not wearing trousers well I've put the main equipotential bond to the water in here uh, next to the main earth conductor they're both 10 mil copper So I'm just printing a label now uh, for the consumer unit to say where the locations of the gas and water bonds. Um, but that will um, that will cover anybody who comes and help them to find where the bonds are. The gas pipe is this is what I'm saying. The gas pipe is not um, extraneous, i.e., it's plastic at ground level. I've set up for um, an RCD test to test the RCBOs. I put it on auto, put the tester on auto, and then just um, head on over to the uh, consumer unit, ready to press the button. So, a test. Right, and as a psychologist, were you there? That's the first one. Gone. So, and the last one. My MFT's just gone down with a error 27 message. It started flickering the the screen started looking very faint like that and then and then I've got an error 27 and it won't switch off. So that's the second one of the 1730s. But I've got two of them and now they're both they're both down. So the 15.30 here, I'm using to do the water bond test. Um, that's a bit higher than I would like. 
so I don't know why that is. Possibly dirt on the contact. Uh, 0.95, it is probably dirt on the contact. Point nine oh. Well, I've scrubbed this off with uh, the grindette, and now I've realised what I haven't done is zero out the leads. So, I'll just zero the leads out. <laughs> And I don't know how to do that on this. Um, okay, that's zeroing out the leads. Uh, we take this and put her round back onto the bathroom, put it back onto the bathroom water pipe, and 0 0.03, that's what we want, below 0 0.05. quarter past midnight and I've just been down towards Wood Green uh, and I had a pizza in a corner pizzeria. Um, it's really busy. It's all right. Thank you. It's really busy. Um, well, I guess that's just London but the police have blocked a road off uh, because there'd been an accident and all the buses were piling up and had to do three point turns to come back through the roadworks. It's absolute gridlock for the best part of an hour. I felt so sorry for the motorists. I walked all the way down um, telling each one of them uh, what the problem was. It might, be the, might as well be the middle of the day. I looked up error codes um, on the electrician's forum and I googled them as well and I only came up with error codes for the 1530, my 1530, I bought for £400 on eBay, second hand, it's been a good workhorse, but two of the 1730s now have gone down, one, okay admittedly was second hand, I bought for, I don't know, 500 quid. that went down, blank screen, this one now, almost blank screen, uh, but at least it came up with error code 27 um, and I couldn't find anything about it on, on, the, on Google or the forum. So what I'm going to do now is access the battery pack, take the batteries out because at the moment it won't turn off even, it won't turn off. So if I take the batteries out, it'll turn off, put them back in, see if it turns on and whether it comes up with the error code again. Basically, the problem is I've put dry cells in, alkaline cells in, which I'd forgotten about, and then I tried to charge it, and I put it on charge. In, in the meantime, I'm getting stinging finger. There's been discharge in the battery compartment. Um, I don't know if that's something to do with it. Um, probably is, because you can set the different voltages. So I'm going, to, I'm going to have to scrap those batteries and uh, give it a bit of a wash out. The batteries that have basically exploded in there. So I need six of these, I think. Otherwise, uh, it's been an expensive day out. Oh, I can always get another one, but it means I'm down to one for a moment for for the time being 
and uh, they're expensive things. And the truth. No, it won't come off.